Hey guys, it's Dr. Sharun here, and welcome to our channel, which is called Need Buddy, where we bring daily biology MCQs for you, so that before the upcoming NEET exam, you will have a good practice and a good speed, so that NEET exam you will easily crack. And that's what we are going to do today. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So let's get started. Today also, we are going to provide you with daily biology MCQs, which are your practice. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number two. The energy releasing metabolic process in which substrate is oxidized without an external electron acceptor is called glycolysis, fermentation, aerobic respiration, photorespiration. The correct answer is option B, fermentation. There is no external electron acceptor in fermentation and the substrate gets oxidized. Question number five. Carbohydrates are commonly found as starch in plant storage organ. Which of the following five properties of starch makes it useful as a storage material? The properties are easily translocated, chemically non-reactive, easily digested by animals, osmotically inactive, synthesized during photosynthesis. Which of these five properties is useful that makes starch as the storage form of carbohydrate? Both A and E. Both B and C. Option three is both B and D. Option four is A, C, and E. The correct answer is option three. That is both B and D. Starch is chemically non-reactive and osmotically inactive, which makes it apt for storage. Question number five. The wings of bird and wings of an insect are homologous structures and represent Convergent evolution, homologous structures and represent a divergent evolution, analogous structures and represent a convergent evolution, phylogenetic structures and represent a divergent evolution. The correct answer is option three. They are example of analogous structures and they represent convergent evolution. Question number thirty six. The biomass available for consumption by herbivores and decomposers is called the net primary productivity, secondary productivity, standing crop, or gross primary productivity. The correct answer is option one. That is, net primary productivity is the biomass that is available for the consumption by the herbivores. Question number sixty-four. A renewable, exhaustible natural resource is coal, petroleum, minerals, or forest. The correct answer is option four, forest. Question number two: Polysome is formed by ribosomes attached to each other in a linear arrangement, several ribosomes attached to a single mRNA, many ribosomes attached to a strand of endoplasmic reticulum. A ribosome with several subunits. Polysome is formed by. The correct answer is option B by several ribosomes attached to a single mRNA. Question number thirty-seven. Synapses occurs between mRNA and ribosomes, spindle fiber and centromere, two homologous chromosomes, a male and a female gamete. Correct answer is option C between two homologous chromosomes. Question number eighty-seven. F1 generation means first filial generation, first seed generation, first flowering generation, first fertile generation. The correct answer is option A, first filial generation. Question number nine. Gel electrophoresis is used for cutting of DNA into fragments, separation of DNA fragments according to their size, construction of recombinant DNA by joining with cloning vector, isolation of DNA molecules. What is gel electrophoresis used for? Gel electrophoresis is a common technique that is employed in biotechnology in which a gel slab is used. And uh, samples are loaded. Electricity is passed, and the samples get separated according to their size. So the correct answer is option B: separation of DNA fragments according to their size. And this does not apply only to the DNA fragments. Even the protein fragments or the RNA fragments can be separated according to their size. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स अगार अगार इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय फंगस एलगे बैक्टीरिया ब्लू ग्रीन एलगे करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी एलगे क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट यूज एज अ बायो पेस्टिसाइड ट्राइकोडर्मा हर्जियानम एन पी वी दैट इज न्यूक्लियर पॉलीहेड्रोसिस वायरस जैंतमोनास कैंपिस्ट्रिस बासिलस थुरजेनिस नॉट यूज एज अ बायो पेस्टिसाइड करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री जैंतमोनास कैंपिस्ट्रिस क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स बार्थोलिंस ग्लैंड इज फाउंड इन पीनिस स्टमक लिवर और वेजाइना द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज इन वेजाइना क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन यूनिसेक्शुअलिटी ऑफ फ्लावर प्रिवेंस ऑटोगामी एंड जेटिनोगामी ऑटोगामी बट नॉट जेटिनोगामी बोथ जेटिनोगामी एंड जीनोगामी और जेटिनोगामी बट नॉट जीनोगामी करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी इट प्रिवेंट्स ऑटोगामी बट नॉट जेटिनोगामी क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी फोर सिग्नल्स फ्रॉम फुली डेवलप फीटस एंड प्लेसेंटा अल्टीमेटली लीड्स टू पैचुरेशन विच रिक्वायर्स रिलीज ऑफ ऑक्सीटोसिन फ्रॉम मेटर्नल पिट्यूटरी ऑक्सीटोसिन फ्रॉम फीटल पिट्यूटरी रिलैक्सिन फ्रॉम प्लेसेंटा एस्ट्रोजन फ्रॉम प्लेसेंटा करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए ऑक्सीटोसिन फ्रॉम मेटर्नल पिट्यूटरी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑक्सीजेनिक फोटोसिंथेसिस अकर्स इन ऑसिलिटोरिया रोडोस्पाइरलम क्लोरोबियम क्रोमैटियम ऑक्सीजेनिक फोटोसिंथेसिस अकर्स इन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए ऑसिलिटोरिया सो दो जो द एमसीक्यूज फॉर टूडे एल सी यू गाइज अगेन टूमोरो विद अनदर सेट ऑफ एमसीक्यूज टिल देन All the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you are new out there, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.